again it's george and and i welcome you to solve math yes currently on solve math we are treating multiplication of two binomials yes and today we have another question on that please pay critical attention what is the question saying now expand into bracket x minus 3y bracket close raised to the power 2 raised to the power 2 good this is simple let's have our solution good our solution meaning how we solve it neatly written let's have the question now to bracket x minus 3 y bracket close raised to the power 2 raised to the power 2 it simply means that x minus 3 y it's multiplying itself what twice okay that is all if this were to be 3 it would have meant that x minus 3 y will be multiplying itself thrice but in this context it is 2 so it is multiplying itself twice so yes you have into bracket x minus 3 y bracket close into bracket x minus 3 y bracket close simple right now it becomes easy to tackle true or false yes that is true so let's continue now each time here we'll multiply everything in there right we'll be treating this in our previous lesson so we have x into bracket x minus 3 y bracket close then we have what minus 3 y is also multiply everything here so x minus 3 y bracket close neatly written good let's continue now x times x rules of algebra becomes what x squared or x raised to the power 2 now x times negative 3 y rules of algebra it becomes negative 3 x y okay yes it's arranged alphabetically that is why the x comes before the y yes that's part of rules of algebra good now let's continue we have here negative 3 y times x it will give us negative 3 x y as i said is arranged alphabetically that is why the x comes before y is so critical right and we know that any times a negative multiplies a positive the answer becomes what negative it's so critical this is negative so let's continue now we have negative 3 y times what negative 3 y it will give us positive 9 y squared now, rules of algebra. Good. And take note, any time a negative multiplies a negative, the answer becomes positive. Let's continue. We have equal to now x squared. Now, let's see whether we have like terms that we can solve together. Yes, we have what? xy here and xy there. So, we can solve them together because they are like terms. So, negative 3xy minus 3xy. It will give us what? Negative 6xy. Yes, you are owing, then you go and more practically that's what it means this integers right then you have your plus 9 y squared good easy as a b c d i hope you got it yes this is easy this brings us to the end of today's lesson on solve math yes i will advise you to visit my various social media platforms and enjoy more videos of this and indeed you appreciate the topic yes on tiktok i'm joking underscore joking now follow the page share 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 for others to also benefit from this initiative on youtube i am joking tv or joking education channel now subscribe to the channel share the videos if you have any comment now let me have them i will assure you or i can assure you that i will respond to your comment yes i will indeed respond to your comment yes on facebook i am jokan tv or jokan education channel if you also type solve math or jokan you'll find me you can also type jokan ambassadors and you'll find me there till we meet again for our next lesson my name is george country and you can also call me jokan adios